Wimbo wa taifa. Conservation is a call that we must all heed to. As we plant this tree, let us continue to take care of it, and I want you to care for it very well. Also, take care of the environment. To plant a tree, to plant their stay, to plant their coming, and to plant everything they have come with into our school. Uh, the guests are led by, I believe, Mr. Diambo Gordon. Uh, Madam, you will help me, Madam Winnie, I guess. Uh, Mr. Diambo Gordon might be of a better hierarchy. Uh, I don't know. You will help me know. Uh, I don't know who is the head, the head of the team. Uh, I wanted to make some speech with the same. Uh, that uh, as we prepare that seedling, giving it to our young daughter, Melissa Moturi. Melissa Moturi, I want to tell you, environmental conservation has a lot. So Melissa, hold, hold the tree together with, uh, I believe, pictures are taken. And uh, we are all going to clap as Melissa is going to root that plant, Melissa is now planting, they are coming. Can you all clap St. Benedict? That is wonderful. Yes, that is Melissa planting the Seth Green Hill Academy into our school. I want to appreciate the coordination, the organization from both our teachers that is uh, Mr. Samuel Okeo and Mr. Brian Oweti. This is wonderful. And uh, Melissa, congratulations. Now, Melissa, you will take the water in the container. You are the first one to pour water. Melissa, you are going to take that water and you pour to the tree. That is care number one we give to the tree. Can we all clap for Melissa? That is care number one we are giving to uh, the tree. And that, the scouts, the environment, that tree must be taken care of to keep us running, to keep us moving of them. Uh, 
thank you very much. The deputy, uh, deputy principal present here, to our parents from the primary section represented, to uh, our visitors who have come, uh, with the, to, get, uh, to the guests who are here with us, and uh, to the students from fraternity of St. Benedict's. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. Thank you so much. I'm very much privileged today, and uh, I'm very happy to stand here and to bring the bring in the anklets and uh, the goodwill of what God has provided for us. Now, because of time, I wish to move very fast so that we can complete in good time. Uh, we are supposed to be here, five of us. The, these are some of the representative teachers from Mosset Green Hills, you see. And uh, there were supposed to be five. I want to bring the apology of uh, Madam Winnie. This morning she was feeling unwell, so, so she was rushed, or she rushed to a stall to check on some medication. We were not able to be with her today. Secondly, we had Mr. Odiambo. Mr. Odiambo got on. We are with him together, although he has just uh, gone to pick something, he will join us in the due course. And finally, I don't want to mention the teachers present. I want them to speak their names themselves. It will be better. They, it will come out with a lot of clarity and with a lot of uh, consistency. Otherwise, we have two represented here. May I take opportunity to welcome them, to greet you, say their names, and uh, just in order to move quickly. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, maybe you have said my name. My name is Madam Wetna, St. Green Hill Academy. I'm also the mistress of St. Green Hill. It's a boarding and a day school. So my St. Green team, we are privileged to be in this school, St. Benedict. Have you welcomed us? Good afternoon, everybody. Have you, know, have you heard my name? What is my name? Yes, my name is Madam Edna. Thank you, Mr. Samuel, for organizing this. We are really, we are really happy to come here. Seth are you happy? Yes. For Paris, okay? Yes. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Thank you so much. Hello, Lanas. Hello, Lamas. Yes, I'm Madam Anne from Seth Green Hill. We are privileged to be here this uh, this moment. And hope you you welcome us more. Have a lovely day. Thank you so much. So the rest of the teachers who are present they will be recognized when they come. Mr. Lucas kindly allow me. Welcome to Sabrina TV. We will never tire to provide you with news of high level of credibility and reliability. Feel free to communicate and share comments at www.gtv.co.ke. My name is Evans Gisore and my colleague is Glory Demo. Welcome. High tension has been witnessed in various parts of this country due to the ongoing demonstration in the country. The residents are living in fear as they blame the police for using excessive force, which according to them is a massacre. More from Gloria and Some complain of possible excessive force in the canister since they claim that the canisters were menacingly causing extraordinary. Reduction. Are they just in real life in our real dreams, or are they just hoping beyond their hope that their plan will work on what they call the confronting government? Reporting to your studio, my name is Glory Ongeri. 
total deprivation and destruction has not only been a storm in a teacup for many Kenyans, but it has also been an issue many have given a cold shoulder. When President Ruto came into power, he promised to reawaken Kenyans to a call to conserve forests. However, his decision to logging left many Kenyans thrown in a set of quagmire. Let's get more from Harriet Mora. Getting you clearly from the mainstream. It is true that the president acted as an example to Kenyans in the development of forests in Kenya, but the statement he last made about logging through people in a state of quagmire. Could it be that contrast of knowledge or that of fidelity? Is the question that continues to deny people's states? If not, Peter Apata in its soft light. Many are flabbergasted and thrown into a state of quagmire. Could it be that contrast in, in a state of embrogiousness? Oh, how is the climate becoming a few more years' time? A rhetorical question. Reporting to you from Kisi, my name is Harriet Mura. More on the state of the country will be given to us by Cindy Kisi Station in Eldoret. Cindy Kisi, I hope you are letting us clearly. May you share with us what has transpired in the state of the country. First, this brought great controversy with a few residents praising and others not happy about the state. A section of Kenyans had this to say. Sir, what is your name? My name is Karebo. What is your view about the finance bill? The finance bill is surely a mayhem to us. Surely there is nothing we can do but accept it. We only ask Kenyans to think twice on this. Kazeni kamba na mungwa wabariki. Thanks a lot, Sintiki. We will still connect later. On the other side, the Kisi Migori Media Organization is being launched officially at St. Benedict Sony. This location has been ordered by different stakeholders in the county. A few minutes ago, they have planted trees to emphasize on the environmental conservation. Many other schools have registered their willingness to join this organization. Flavia Osebe has prepared this for us. A day to record with as official launch of Kisi Migori Media Organization is done here at St. Benedict's Sun. It is a day that will never go out of history in development of a and peculiar organization. It is welcome with jubilation that continues to smart the air as Mr. Brian Owiti and Mr. Okeo Samuel signed this first agreement in Mr. Oguta's hometown and country. We congratulate them with utmost felicity. Continue uplifting talents and know what. The best is yet to come. Reporting from Seth Green Hills TV. My name is Flavia Osel. Thank you so much, Flavia, and that brings us to the end of what we prepared for you today. Thank you so much, our viewers, for being close and supporting that's all we have for today. Until next time, don't forget to always tune through our YouTube channel, SGH TV. My name is Eva Bisore, and my colleague is... Glory Nemo. Thanks. Welcome to Set Green Hill TV. We will never tire to provide you with news of high level of credibility and reliability. Feel free to communicate and share your comments at www.gtv.co.ke. My name is Emmanuel Moracha and my colleague, Michelle Botiboy. The past few weeks have been weeks of sorrow that has left many Kenyans singing mournful touches of anguish. The usual atmosphere of tranquility characterized by residents thronging the cities and towns in the country in search for their daily bread was brought to a standstill due to the demonstrations called upon by Azimio leaders. Kimberly has more. Indeed, there was a clarion call taken by the Azimio supporters to take to the roads as they sang to Mechoka. They transverse through many counties in Kenya. This comes a day after His Excellency Ruto sent a traumatizing, heart-spawning and spring-tingling warning to the Azimio supporters. 
He spoke in a crackling voice, burning in elephantine fury. But the Azimio supporters were like spotters, neither ready to retreat nor to surrender. They transversed through many counties in Kenya, like Nairobi, Nyeri, Kisi, Kisumu, and worst of all, Ruto and Gachagua's home counties were not left behind. It was inevitable and certain that Watu were a choker. Let's get more from my co reporter, Maria Rita. Are you getting me? Yes, Kimberly. I'm getting you as clear as the Quartz Crystal from Kisi. During the strike, first there was no school operating around Kisi town as the police had a cast and ratchets with the residents who had just across the vicinity. The police staring at the residents in a U next brass expression, the residents fastidiously mooring Tita and Tita to different hiding places. They loved out tear gas that did not stop the angry and bitchy residents from accomplishing their task. Bearing in mind, a coward dies ten times before his usual death. The people came out ravenously and latoniously chased the police. Finally, tires were burnt all over and a cloud of smoke loomed on the tranquil air. Reporting to you from Kisi County, my name is Gift Maria Lita. Back to Kimba. Thank you for that fastidious news. Reporting to you from Kisi County, my name is Kimberly Atoti. Still on the strike, various parts of the country heeded to the call by the army of leaders that has now left many nursing injuries at various hospitals, with their fate still lying on the hands of the paramedics. Hedla Nabuto has prepared this for us. Indeed, many Kenyans are as confused as a rat in a boxing arena, if not, Makoti and the money sell in the state of this country. Various strikes, called upon by the Azimuel leaders, have left a cloud of grief and trepidation looming on the people who have lost their loved ones. Raila has dropped yet another bombshell that has left people in debt collecting 15 million signatures when it works. And some of the quarries that continue to destroy the entire world is not set for different channels. We are waiting in this serene ambience to see what we will end up with. The Azimia leaders have launched a platform in which you sign up at www.kumetoka.com. Let us wait. But with the patient's name, to you from Kisumo, my name is Tedra Nebuto. Back to education, as schools in Kenya prepare to end the second term, end term exams are looming and preparations for the same are at the peak. Let's get more from Happiness Marsha. Two very clear from the studio. It's a cloud peak at 6 o'clock on Monday. Those marching into the Netherlands are now about to sleep. Rather, surrender your blanket and move to the cold ones and look for your success. As the town will kick off, everyone will wish to scupper to their safe places to go through and divide their work. Surely, the status of the vast ages neither plot a dead horse, nor go bananas, when they postulated the proverbial dictra, every day every dog has his day. We live in a day of positivity or negativity. In the question that continues to brew a storm into the top survival minds of students before me. Ours as a media center is to wish to success and a climate of confidence, rather not a serenity of looming clouds of anguish and discontentment. Reporting to you as a studio, I am and will continue to be happiness, Masha. Thank you so much. And that brings us to the end of what we have prepared for you today. Thank you so much to our viewers for ever being close and supporting us. That's all we have had for today. Until next time, do not forget to always tune through our YouTube channel, Set Print Hills TV. My name is Michelle Bosibore and my colleague. Thank you. I live in the love, Kweli, baby, me peto. No, give me kota ni melala, una kuta ju. Then I go to the league, go to the league, go to the league, go to the
ni kitu bu Suwezi kukutua machoos mana miso kitu ngu to address you on this auspicious occasion. It is a splendid, luminous, and wonderful, if not an inspiring day to say thanks to our God and my fellow students for the presentation done here. Indeed, it has left me basak after exchanging presentaries my, with my comrades over there. I came to tell that this presentation has thrown most of us in stunning ones of shock, if not horns of dilemma. Thanks to the teachers who have organized the program that has thrown most of us in wallowing the miasma of sixes and sevens. May God continue to bountifully, plentifully, and bombastically supply all their needs and empower with the energy to continue training the young ones. To me, this day shall remain protect in my escape alone. If not, punipate like an epitaph on a tombstone. Not, it is not worth remembering, but it is not worth forgetting. Blessing Yangate is my name from Se Green Hill. Thank you and welcome to SET. <laughs> 